Um, well, one of the areas which we was good at, you know, the last couple of games is taking care of the basketball. You know, um, having 11 turnovers at halftime, you know, really hurt us. Only having five in that second half. But, you know, just, just you know, playing through the game, you know, not getting comfortable. You know, um, one thing about Pops teams, they're going to play hard. No matter who's on the floor, they're going to compete. And we just can't let our guards down. And so tonight, I just thought, you know, we got comfortable once we built those leads. And then they made it a game because they're going to keep playing and they're going to play hard and compete. And so... That's just something to learn from. You know, we just can't let our guards down and continue to play through the game. And, you know, having um, 18 assists in the second half, you know, I thought was really good. Um, we shared the basketball, but they um, they did some different things. They played some zone, tried to trick the game up a little bit, and it gave us a little problems. But just, you know, continue to just keep playing the game. You know, don't get comfortable. And it's hard to beat a team, you know, twice on the road, you know, in back-to-back -back games. You know, that's, that's hard. You know, it's hard to do. And so um, I congratulate our guys for doing that, but just you know, being more professional of, of just playing through the game and not letting our foot off the gas. What did you make of uh, telling the crowd to knock off the boot? I, I can't imagine you've seen something like that before in all your years. What you said, what I make of it? What you think of that? I mean, I'm rolling whatever Pop does. I'm rolling with it. So, yeah. Um, no, he's been working. He's been putting the work in. You know, Norm has some, some growing tightness. And, um, you know, Amir being 6'7", that can, you know, run the floor. He can drive a closeout. He can make a three. And he can defend one through four. And so um, just for all his hard work he's been putting in over the last couple of years, you know, he hasn't really had a, a great opportunity. You know, but I knew he was ready. And so um, just give him a chance. He came in. He didn't let us down. You know, really played well. And um, that was good to see. I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I'm not sure yet. Well, Popovich did say that the Spurs went on a little run. Uh, how were you able to kind of regain that momentum or, you know, uh, stop there a little bit? Yeah, um, they cut it to seven at one point, and Kawhi made a big shot, put us up nine. And then I um, can't really remember after that. But just keeping our composure, you know, they made some, some tough threes. You know, Vassell made a lean-in three from, you know, 28 feet. Um, you know, Vic made a couple of big shots. And so, you know, at the end of the game, when you're scrambling like that, you know, you got to be locked into what we're doing and you can't have miscommunications um, on the defensive end. That's where you, when you have a 17, 18 point lead, you know, everybody looks at the offense. But if you're getting stops, then you win by 18, you know. So we got to be better defensively in those situations. And um, it's something to learn from. And we, we will get better with that. Yeah, yeah. Um, just having, like I said, somebody six seven that can defend, you know, one through four, can rebound the basketball. And like I said, with, with, with Bones and Russ, you know, just, you know, it's a small combination. And, you know, so you see how they, they starting a, a seven five four man, you know. So, so it's just tough to, you know, be small out there. And so uh, we've learned our lesson over the last couple, two, three years of playing small and how it hasn't worked. And so we just try to stay away from it as much as possible. Yeah, I think, you know, we're, we're getting there. You know, we still have a long way to go, but, like, I like I like the progress we're making. Um, I, I like the strides we're making. And um, there'll be five good teams that we're going to play coming out um, after Thanksgiving. And so, you know, our guys will be ready for that and ready for the challenge. And, um, you know, the biggest thing, like I said, for me, is just continue to keep getting better every day, you know, whether it's shoot around, whether it's practice, whether it's the game, and learn something and get better every single day. And I think, you know, for the most part, we've been doing that. Yeah, I mean, it means a lot. You know, just, you know, when those two guys are healthy, we're a different team. I know we hit a rough patch, you know, after the trade and just trying to get guys acclimated, losing guys for the Lakers game. But, like, I think now just seeing, like, who we can be and how we can play, you know, once those guys are healthy and now they're healthy. And so 
Kawhi and PG starting the game, and then Kawhi, I mean, PG coming up that second unit, kind of um, running that ship and um, being aggressive offensively. And so it, it looks good. And so it's going to come around and just when we start adding more stuff offensively, you know, defensively, um, we've been pretty good outside, you know, like I said, the last eight minutes of that game. But we've been pretty good defensively, and so we got to continue to keep getting better with that. Um, I don't know. It just depends on how you know quick our guys pick it up and how comfortable we are um, running our sets. And you know, once we get that down, then we can slowly start adding.